When you first start learning to code, you're going to feel like an imposter. Well, at least I did. And I kept saying to myself, oh, I don't understand JavaScript. I just don't understand it enough. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back over everything that I've covered already, just so I understand it to a higher level. And I'm going to restart this course. And then I would do that. And then I would get stuck again. And I would feel like an idiot again. And then I would start it again. That is not the approach. If you're worried that you don't understand, instead of going back over everything and trying to memorize things, a better approach is to go through and to solve problems. And the best way I've found to do that is to use something like Code Wars. Code Wars is a free website that you can use and log in with your GitHub account. If you don't have a GitHub account already, you can go ahead and do that. So now that I'm into Code Wars, it's going to look a little bit different for you because I've been around it. It's prompting me to do a 4KU challenge. 4KU is the level or the belt that I've got in Code Wars. It starts off at 8 and then as you get better, your number goes down 7, 6, 5, 4, etc. I'm going to come over to this home uh, sidebar and come down to the practice section. And this is what I recommend all beginners should do at the beginning. So you're going to go to sort by and go all the way down to easiest. It's important to build our confidence, start easy, get used to the platform and then make it more difficult over time. So one of the questions that I'm going to pick, these are all different ones that you can practice and you can try out. I'm going to go for a quarter of the year. So this is a description of what the question is. So you take a quick read of that and then you can go up here and hit train. Now mine says train again because I've done this one already. I'm going to click in and this is the interface. So initially you might be a little bit overwhelmed, but this is just like a code editor. So the stuff at the bottom, you don't really need to concern yourself with. They're just the tests that are written within the application. What you need to focus on is this function here. And the idea is that this function is going to answer this question. So in this question, we're trying to find out, given a month as an integer from 1 to 12, return to which quarter of the year it belongs as an integer. So we know that we're taking in a month as a number and that we need to return a number. So I'm just going to write that out in pseudocode. And pseudocode is the first step for solving a problem. And it's literally just comments. So in JavaScript, we do a dash dash and now we're into a comment world and I'm going to say okay take in a number and return turn a number now we're trying to deal with a quarter of the year so if I take the number four which is quarter that means we've got 12 months 12 divided by 4 is 3 so I'm going to be working with this number as well what else do I need to be aware of well, I'm going to need to take the month and compare it to the months of the year and then return a number. So as an example, here is one of the answers that we could use. So instead of typing this all out, here is my answer. And what you'll notice is I'm using a lot of if statements. I'm using comparison as well. So if the month is one or if the month is two or if the month is three, I'm going to return one because that means it's in the fourth the first quarter of the year and so on else if else if else if and return all right i can go through here and i can hit test and it's going to give me an output and now i've passed all the tests so i know that i've figured things out and if this is a little bit overwhelming originally for you what you can do is don't be afraid of googling things so for example i'm using a lot of comparisons here i could use that in the MDN docs. So this is a really good website for remembering, oh, what does the double equals mean? What does not equals mean? Strict, greater than, less than. And now the answer I've provided here is not necessarily the best answer. It's just an answer. And when I'm happy that I've passed the tests, I can hit attempt. It's going to run all the tests again. And I've passed four tests and I have submitted the answer. So perfect. I've passed well done me, I've learned a lot about JavaScript. Now I always have a look at the solutions that other people have done so I can see, wow, somebody did it in one line. Then I would try and understand, well, how did they do that answer? Where are my shortcomings within the language of JavaScript? And how can I improve? And the most important thing is I'm using my brain. I'm not just reading and I'm researching to improve my skills. So 
if you feel like, oh, I need to start again, I'm not getting anywhere, have a go of Code Wars, spend a couple of uh, minutes, maybe half an hour every day, and really improve your skills in a practical sense. That's all for now, I hope it was helpful. If you found this video useful, or if you have some friends who are also learning to code, do send them this video, and it'll help them improve their skills too. All the best, thank you.